Hey everybody, The Amazing here, bringing you a review of the 112 Collective Mezco Daredevil Shadowland version. That was a huge mouthful, please excuse me. But yeah, let's get on with the review. First off, I want to start by saying visually, I know pictures don't normally do these guys justice, so it's why you have to pretty much do a review first and then see it in action after you know what's going on with the mechanics. So all around, I just want to start by saying this is a, it seems like a faux leather, but I know it's a soft material. The DD is part of the stitching, so it won't like just scratch off. As you can see, I'm doing, I'm scratching at it. Nothing, right? Nothing's coming off. Then you have the soft plastic like material for the belt and the holster on the side. These are soft, you can move them around. They don't just easily pop off. So as far as articulation goes, Maddie double jointed in the arms. Head goes left and right, just to make sure you sure you guys see. Also, if you want, you can pop the head off. So that way, when you get your normal Daredevil, if you want to put the Matt Murdock head on, you can. So it's like this. Arms can rotate in and out. There's bicep swivel. Arms can actually go all the way up, but you may not want to stretch your clothing that far, as you can clearly see. So I can show you that you can go all the way up. You can actually go out and in. Because on the inside is a soft, thinner material that allows you to stretch it out so you won't have to wear it out. But like all clothing, it eventually does it but it's a matter of how many ways you can get. Same goes for the leg. There's a crotch area, which is like a cup. This is like a nylon stitching, again, to allow maximum points of articulation. So this is one of those things you have to ask yourself, like, wow, like they really incorporated a lot into this for the body and the build. And you wanna make sure you rotate it down so that way clothes don't get caught. There's ankle pivot going in, as you can see. So it goes out. It goes in, it goes forward, it goes back. This is as far back as it goes. If you go a little further, you give it a little therapy by rotating it out a little, and slowly you can get a little bit more. There is no toe pivot, but there that will just stand up just fine without it. Arms can actually relax all the way down. They can go in a little further. So it basically follows human anatomy. I know I'm sounding boring, but I wanna make sure I cover with everybody. It's stitched up in the back. Again, the fall leather plus the nylon material. There's little plastic parts for the shoulders and knees. Hands are great. The batons actually fit really well. They actually fit perfectly in his hand. And as well as, just in case you're wondering, they actually fit perfectly inside the holster on the side as well. And no, they do not hinder any points of articulation whatsoever. So it's one of those things where you go, wow, they actually like kind of incorporated everything. And I'm just going to pop off the head so I can show you guys. The helmet is not just a normal black. It's a little weathered. So you'll see like scratches like for the armor of the head, which look really great. The eyes are red, which you kind of can't see here, but if I get in the right light, you can see it. And it looks really, really well. Uh, as far as accessories, let's go over what Maddie comes with. <laughs> Maddie, I'm saying like I know the guy. He starts off with two closed fists so that you guys know. There's more like the hand you carry for his Shadowland when you want to choke someone or you want to look cool jumping down the building. More like an angry face or a possessed face. Oh, I said face. More like angry or possessed hands. You get two of those. You get two open palms, like reaching or throwing a baton, stuff like that. You also get these cool hands where it's sort of like martial arts hands for also holding the batons. They can hold them as well. So this is the ones when you want to look cool or you want to do the fidgeting or you want to go from building to building but they definitely hold pretty well. So you actually have two option hands for that. And then you have the hands for when he's throwing it or when he's launching or he's jumping from build to building or he's using radar sense. This is pretty cool. Also, this one is actually the main event for me that I really enjoy is that you get the baton on the wire. The wire actually holds pretty well. As you can see, I'm holding the hand. It's bouncing now, but it just, the material itself is actually really strong. So it holds really well. You can stretch it back out extend it well and then you can fold it back in half that way when you package it back up it's done really well and as you can see like i said it holds very very well i'm actually a huge fan of this I'm super excited when i saw that coming out of the box i was super excited and here we have the radar sense now radar sense is a little different because i thought it would be one of those things where it attaches at the back of the head when actually uh from what i've gathered you attach it at the arm And you can kind of hide it so right here on the arm you can do radar sense which i thought was pretty cool i mean i didn't actually see that coming and you can see you can hide the stand pretty well on the arm you can only see it very barely there and it hides it very well for the radar sense 
especially if you're going to do close-up shots. I thought that was done really well. Actually, and one more thing, you can actually take this part off. And if you want, I have a Tamashi stage somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, I do actually. If you really want, you can actually apply it to a Tamashi stage. And it fits on a Tamashi stage perfectly as well. So just in case you don't want to use it with the arm, you can attach it to a Tamashi stage. And voila, you have that. Actually, I'm really enjoying this mat, and I can't wait for you guys to see the pictures because I had such a great time with this. And thank you so much, Mezco, for this, for handing me to you earlier and trusting me enough to go, we want you to take shots. So I'm really enjoying it. One more thing I want to cover and concern with you guys definitely is comparison to both Marvel Legends and SHF and things like that. So this is a size comparison, but both SHF, Marvel Legends old and new. This is the suited body. This is the Mezco 112. This is the most updated Marvel Legend. And this is SH Figarts, oh, SH Figarts, Shukeki Seho, the renewal bodies. So it's, it's a very nice comparison in size and build. So it's not one that would look completely out of place with any line. I think that's pretty cool. So overall, absolutely love the figure. The small gripe I have is that as far as ab crunch goes, it doesn't go too far forward. But when you think about it in retrospect, if a guy is flexible, he can kind of do a lot. So that was originally my gripe, but it's actually a small one. But overall, actually really enjoying figures because as you can see, he can do a ton in terms of articulation. So Mezco made sure they did a great job of covering both how the cloth would move and realistic form of articulation, especially Daredevil being an urban blind ninja. So I'm really excited. If you haven't already, if you're not at Comic-Con, go ahead and go get one. If not, you can always pre-order it on Mezco's website. It's still available. It's supposed to be shipping on time. But with this coupled with the other Daredevil, it's going to be awesome. It actually make the perfect figure because you get the Matt Murdock head. And then there's still the, the original Frank Miller suit. So I'm looking forward to it. If you haven't already, go and get it. Happy New York Comic-Con, everyone. Enjoy. Hey, guys. We got to mention this, but I'm going to add it here. Is that you can actually attach it to the stand. As you can see here, as well as attached to DD. Hope you guys enjoy.